I just like to back with another video. I'm going to be uh, very straight to the point. We're not going to do no intro, no outro, no music, no nothing, no nonsense. I made this video right here. American Car Center closed down. What are you going to do next? Do this. Share this video. I made this video back in February 28th of this year. And I'm going to play the little small things that you should have listened to and done. And lack of profit, which would be the last reason, but most importantly, car thefts and lack of insurance. Uh, with that being said, the first thing you want to do is don't pay them, don't call them about accepting, or don't call them or accept any calls about making any payments. Don't do anything, don't give them a dollar, a red cent. Do not ask questions to them. This is what you do. Pay attention. The first thing you need to do is contact LexisNexis, Anobis, and ARS Advanced Solutions, Resolutions, I'm sorry. Contact them, all three of them, block your credit. Put a block on your credit, you can do this for free. For the information necessary, this is what it is. LexisNexis will give you a pen and a case ID number. They will also contact you via mail, all three. Anobis will give you a reference and a pen number. ARS will give you a pen number. With that being said, once you put the block and once it's active, this is the next thing we want to do. The next thing you want to do is dispute the account immediately. All right. Now, I want to be clear before we go any further. I am not a credit repair agency. I don't get paid to do any of this. I am not. I'm not on work for the IRS. I don't work for any type of credit solution. I have no answers. I do have advice. That's all this is. And it's worth a shot in the dark because, hey, the business is closed. With that being said, let's continue. You will do this via certified mail only. In your certified letters that I'm going to teach you how to do this, you're going to have to give them a copy of your ID or passport or and social security card. You're going to have to give them copies of all three barrels have to get copies of these to verify your identity. With that being said, um, if you like me, you don't want to give them a lease or a mortgage, give them a bank statement and a phone bill. You, anybody can do that. It doesn't have to be a full printout of the phone bill, but as long as they have the bank statement with address and everything, prove your identity, that's just in case that they need any more proof. So with that being said, let's continue. The first thing you want to do is get proof that the business is closed on paper. You need proof that the business is closed, that there's an actual business that's not, not active anymore. Second, you need to do is get credit reports from all three credit bureaus. You need to handwrite them certified mail that you need a credit report. Once you get the credit report, each credit report will have. Now, I don't mean handwrite, literally. Type it out, please. I hope people weren't thinking that you would just write them a love letter. Pause. These things Equifax will have a confirmation number, TransUnion will have a file number. Typically nine digits. The confirmation number for Equifax will also be ten digits. Experian will have a report number. Typically, that is also ten digits. So, with that being said, I could show you examples of these, but I'm not going to get into that. You can Google and look this stuff up on YouTube. Go find those particular answers, such as how do I get uh, a, 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 how do I get um, how do I get the uh, credit reports? How do I write up? Uh, a dispute letter or whatever the case may be that is for you to figure out it's not my job to, to locate exactly where the file number and confirmation and report numbers are when you get the reports it'll be obvious pretty much uh, so the next thing you need to do is uh and we're doing this in one take by the way <laughs> we would also get uh the account numbers for each car if you have more than one but the account number you need to make sure you get the full account number and the current balance at the moment you see this video that this has become a red you know a, 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 an idea with a light bulb that you say hey i want to do this so current balance at that moment and the date that the account was open because all of that has to be documented into the letter the first th i could get into all of that but i just want to get into this here we go so i saw this today Beyond stressful, what the fuck? The hell? Goodness gracious. Beyond stressful, repossessions begin for customers. Oh, I'm sorry, begin for former American Car Center customers, okay? Now, we're going to play this. Let's pause that. Investigator Kate Beery Start this right here. 
months after Memphis-based American Car Center unexpectedly shut down and laid off hundreds of employees, customers at this point say they are still in the dark. I mean, four months later, your Fox 13 money investigator Kate Beery found out the company servicing the loans has already started repossessing vehicles, too. Kate's live on Winchester at one of the old American Car Center locations. Kate, so why are they taking these cars back? The company that is servicing the loan says they are only repossessing cars for drivers who stopped making payments. But after American Car Center closed down and locked up, it created a lot of confusion for drivers. We reported on that chaos and that ensued. Employees told us they did not get paid for the last week of work and drivers across the country wondered if their cars were free. The cars are not free. Westlake Portfolio Management began servicing the loan. But we talked with a Georgia woman who claims American Car Center never filed the paperwork to get her tags. So she refuses to make payments because she cannot legally drive the car. It's, it's not leaving anger. It's really strength. It's really the fact that every time I come outside, I have a fear that they're going to come take the car. It's the fear of me working so hard to be able to pay for a rental. And a spokesman for Westlake Portfolio Management actually called that woman back. He said they're working to address these unique situations. He also reminds drivers that the company did not purchase the loans or titles. They are rather servicing the loans. He said if the company does any repossessions, it will be for those who miss payments. But still ahead, meet two customers who actually did have their cars repossessed in the middle of the night. In Hickory Hill, Kate Berry, Fox 13 News. I want to say, Kate, Kate, you sex as hell. Let's go to the next uh, video because I haven't seen the second one, though. Former American Car Center customers are learning their cars are being towed in the middle of the night. They say that the company servicing the loans has already started repossessing a lot of those vehicles. It's, I'm sure it's so frustrating to those yeah. customers. Fox retains your money. Kate Berry is joining us live off of Winchester tonight. Kate, you met a number of disgruntled customers, in fact, from across the country. What did they have to say? When American Car Center closed down and locked up this spring, it didn't just affect Memphis. The company has locations as far away as Florida, and the new company that is now servicing those loans has begun repossessing the vehicles of drivers who have not made payments. It's I'm just very beyond stressful. Corey Skibby doesn't know if he'll ever see his 2018 Ford Escape again. He paid $17,000 to American Car Center, but when the company declared bankruptcy, he was hesitant to pay the company that's servicing the loans, Westlake Portfolio Management. So the company towed his car from the Nashville area on Friday, tanking his credit. Now I have money for a down payment on a car, but now that my credit is real, real bad again, nobody wants to approve me. It's been very heavy and just trying to basically not let my emotions get the best of me is just really hard. Heather Woody lives in Florida. Her 2018 Chevy Equinox was also repossessed this month. I'm not going to cry, but I've lost a total of $15,000 of hard-earned money I put into this car. Wow. She also did not feel comfortable paying Westlake Portfolio Management because she said she did not grant American Car Center permission to sell her information. I'm still in shock. It's still a nightmare that I go through daily between panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I still have them. That was even before my car got repoed. And a spokesman for Westlake Portfolio Management said that they will only repossess the vehicles of customers who have missed payments. He emphasized that the company has not purchased the titles or purchased the loans. They're simply servicing the loans. And he said that as long as customers continue making their payments to this new company, they shouldn't have to worry about repossessions. Live in Hickory Hill, Kate Berry, Fox 13 News. Well, Fox 13 is your money investigator, Kate Berry, who has been covering the story for months now. Listen, I want to say this. Let me let's scroll back up here. 
I, I want to say this, man. Um, they're only servicing. They don't own anything. Now, once they repo it, eh, they can still, but you know, there's some type of legalities with that. Y'all, my video should have been viral. It was only to help y'all. I don't need to do any of this. I don't get paid for this. I don't get any credit for this. I don't get no credit. I don't get nothing for this. No notoriety. Nothing. I'm not even a monetized channel. Now, I'm going to link the video in the description box. If you guys still want to possibly, you know, dispute because the company don't exist. You should be disputing this. Like this been four months. There's plenty of time. Everyone should have had a free car. You have to do something with the credit bureau. The credit bureau has you all by the headlock. And all you had to do was dispute. But you got to do it the right way. That video I gave you gives you the instructions. Go find out how to write up a dispute letter. There are thousands of videos online how to write a dispute letter, how to put a block on your credit, how to properly get a credit report because you have to put the block on your credit, get the credit report because you got to know what you're filing because to do a dispute, you got to get the account number, the amount, when it was open and actually what the name of the account, all of that has to be documented in your letter that you type up. You got to act now, please. This lady should have not been having no anxiety attacks and this guy should have never lost his vehicle. And this other woman shouldn't be worried about getting repo. Like, come on, man. This is this is crazy. And that's all I'm going to say. Let me know what y'all think. I will link the video in the description box on what to do and what y'all should have done back in February. So I'm going to Pacino for another Pacino effect. I'm gone.